Hello friends, welcome back. We are back at my mom's house. She is out of town right now. So um, I'm here to watch Cat. Today I'm gonna be doing a video that was like pseudo requested. Someone in a vlog requested that I do a nail polish collection video. And I was like, you know what? That seems a little bit boring. Cause I have like a ridiculous nail polish collection but it's not like insane. But I was like, you know what we could do? We could do an entire makeup slash skincare slash nail polish collection because that is actually a significant part of what I own. I have no idea how much this all costs. I know it is at least $6,000. So I feel like I'm probably gonna make the title be something like dramatic, like $10,000, which honestly it probably is. I started working at Sephora in 2013 and I hit rouge every year and have since. So that is at least $7,000 and that doesn't include anything I got for free. So I'm gonna say this is at least $10,000 for this stuff. But like I just said, a lot of this I did not purchase by myself. It was given to me as gratis or by brands or was sent to me. So I, I've i gotten better. Um, I also have not really purchased makeup the last year or so. I get bits and pieces of things, but pretty much anything that you see in vlogs is all I bought. Like I don't buy anything outside of that. So try not to shame me that much. Most of this I would say was gifted to me. Without further ado, let's hop on into it. I don't think I've missed anything. Oh, this also doesn't include the stuff that is at my other place and that I use every day. So like, obviously I have like my brushes and this has like some lip liners and like stuff like that that I use every day. That wasn't included. And then like this is like my everyday makeup bag, which could be a whole video of its own and like random primers and stuff like that. And then I have a couple of like boxes of stuff that's in my other place, so that's not included. So there is more things in this, but this is definitely the bulk of my collection. So yes, now without further ado, let's cut to that. I'm gonna start over here with my least organized. Ooh, none of it's really organized. Also, I purposely am missing two nails because I'm trying to let them come off without having to peel them off, so just ignore that I'm missing two nails. This is the Alex Six Drawers from Ikea that like everyone has. They are not the most organized, but they're there. This top drawer is just stuff that I want to try and use up, so if I get like scent things, they go in here. If it's like products that I know I like, like Dr. Des Gross pads that were point perks end up in here, random brushes, like palettes that I know I want to try and use. I have some lashes back here. But it's mostly things that I know I want to try and use more or are like new things or I need to do like reviews and stuff on. So that is that drawer. This is face products. It's kind of all over the place, but we have like concealers, highlighters, this is a blush palette, powders, setting sprays. This box shouldn't be in here. Bronzers, <laughs> highlighters. We have some sponges back there. Like I said, none of this is organized, but it's it's stuff. I don't know why there's a mascara in there. This shouldn't be in there either. This is all face items in here. The deeper drawers, this is all eye stuff. It was organized once and then I started touching things. We have a whole bunch of palettes. Normally these live in the back, but I was going through them to see if I wanted to bring anything with me. So we have a bunch of palettes. I have a bunch of like the Makeup Forever like pigments and powders. I have a ton of ColourPop, single shadows, like random really old stuff from MAC, um, paint pots, some lashes. I have a ton of glitters. They used to be really nicely organized and now they're not. I have like a million of these lit glitters from when I went to eye mats a couple years ago. The only thing I don't really keep in here is most of my mascaras. I have some in here obviously, but not most of it. Um, extra lashes, more glitters down here. At one point these were all like nicely stacked up, but now they're not. Um, these are like three glitter glues from Lit, which is like the best glitter glue. I don't know if you can see back there, but these are all palettes. So we have like Too Faced, Colourpop, Tarte, Colourpop, Makeup Forever, Tarte, Tarte. That was the Naked Basics, the big one. Have a Revolution, the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette, a Makeup Forever holiday palette, Naked Smoky, uh, Modern Renaissance, Shade and Light, 
the Too Faced Nikki tutorial collab. Just a lot of palettes live back here that I'll probably never use, but I might like I don't know, a bunch of them are still in boxes. <laughs> so, like, maybe I'll sell them someday. A lot of those. I went through a phase where I really liked these, so a bunch of, like, the KVD Beauty, like, these Metal Crush shadows. The ColourPop. Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever glitters. Like, a MAC pigment. Eye primers. Individual Anastasia shadows. Just a lot of stuff. I have a bunch of these, I don't know where they all are, but I had a bunch of these in here at some point, but this is like my eye stuff drawer. This drawer is lips and now just random things. It is a lot of packaging and stuff. These I kept in the boxes just so I could like stack them essentially. I own a bunch of these like Urban Decay liquid lipsticks, like the Bite Birthday gift I never use, some Bite lip glosses, more just random lip stuff. I, I keep a lot of boxes. This is like the old Pat McGrath packaging that I kept just because it was pretty. A little MAC lipstick, an extra beauty blender. This is just kind of like extra things in here, but mostly lip stuff. This last drawer again is just random stuff. So I have like extra beauty blenders, cleansers. A lot of extra skincare ends up in here. So that's like my old brush wrap, but like dewy skin mist, fresh. Another like Bite Beauty set, Fresh Glam Glow, Fresh Lancome Josie Marin, some like random fragrances, or Bite hair stuff, lip masks, Tarte. It's mostly, I don't know why I have boxes here, but it's mostly extra skincare stuff in there. I don't really touch over here. This is kind of just like random storage that I don't use. This top one is mostly like random desk supplies. So that's what all that is. And then um, a bunch of different like random nail polishes, fragrance, nail polish remover, nail polish remover. Um, I have like random makeup back there that's like old. That bag, I don't know if you can see, but this whole bag is nail polish. It's mostly nail polish in there. <laughs> this is a lot of makeup bags and older makeup that I don't use anymore that I really just need to go through. These are all old foundations back there that I don't really use. So like Marc Jacobs Remarkable, there's a Givenchy one, Laura Mercier, I have a NARS, Smashbox, there's Lancome back there, Makeup Forever, stuff I don't really use. This is all primers I don't really use. Again, so old Estee Lauder, Marc Jacobs, Smashbox, stuff like that. This is random like lip stuff that's just in a cup. Um, I have some powders back there. I have like a bunch of individual shadows from Sephora when that was a thing. This is blush and bronzer palettes. So we have uh, Elf. Ooh, I have another one of these. Or is this a different color? <gasps> this is like my favorite contour ever and they discontinued it. So happy to find that. Um, but I have like Too Faced, Elf Physicians Formula, Tarte, some Benefit, Kat Von D, MAC. That's stuff that I'm more likely to use and this is stuff that I like don't really use. This is all like phone cases and computer stuff and junk. But I have stuff from Body Shop. I was gifted a bunch of these like philosophy shower gels at one point. I have a bunch of Ula stuff that I don't really use that's old. This is a drawer that I just need to go through and I haven't yet. So that is all this side of my room, mostly. The only other thing I have is this um, bag of mascara because this was the number one thing that we were given in gratis. So this is like a bajillion unopened mascaras. <laughs> and then last thing on the side of my room is all lip products. This is probably the most organized part of it, but it's still not great. This cup up here is pens and all of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks at one point. I owned all of them because I used to wear liquid lipstick to work every day. So that's what those are. I have like random like setting sprays and hair things up there. You can kind of see I have a little bit of everything. At one point these were all nicely laid out too. They are not anymore. Colourpop, Anastasia, a bunch of like fun colored Sephora collection ones back here that were like really cheap. Too Faced, Lime Crime, Huda Beauty, Too Faced, a bunch of Kylie ones in there. Sorry, it's really dark here. Lime Crime Colourpop, Dose of Colors, Sephora Collection, lots of Colourpop, a bunch of Anastasia, I like the Disney Collection. Here's a random normal lipstick. I have like for no reason to from what I sell in here. Um, 
Smashbox, Too Faced, Stila, just a lot of a lot of liquid lipsticks. This is my more traditional lipsticks. I don't know why I like to keep things in boxes, so just ignore that a bunch of these are in boxes. Um, but again, I had a whole bunch of the um, Kat Von D ones, a bunch of these. If you see the little like marking on it, that means it was free, so we got a bunch of these gratis. That's why I have so many. <laughs> um, but I had a bunch of old BH Cosmetic ones that I just need to toss, probably. But ColourPop, BH Cosmetics, NARS. I have a bunch of these Urban Decay ones that are old. YSL. I have like my custom made Bite Beauty ones from the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. Bite Beauty. I have all of the ColourPop Disney Princess ones and I kept um, the packaging for these because they're really pretty. So I have like that whole collection. Some like really, really old MAC ones. <laughs> Bite the Dose of Colors Disney collection. Colourpop Sophia Nygaard. I have a Chanel lipstick. These are just my traditional bullet lipsticks. My MAC ones are somewhere, somewhere else. I don't know where, <laughs> but it's most of my traditional bullet lipsticks. And then this last one is glosses, bombs, and liners. So we have a little bit of everything. Dust colors, Marc Jacobs, Anastasia. Um, there's like toppers in here. So I have like Lime Crime and Urban Decay. They're lip toppers. Again, lots of dust of colors, like the fresh lip balms, some like old benefit stuff. Uh, MAC, Kylie, Sephora collection, the like Dior color changing ones, Kat Von D, Colourpop, Lancome, Dior, Bite, <laughs> Hourglass, just lots of that. So we have liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, and lip glosses and liners. That's most of my lip products in there. You want a little break to say hi to the cat? Hello. This is kind of my last area in my room that I have things. And there's a bunch of stuff on top of it, but these first two drawers here are cosmetic and skincare. This other drawer, like, that's my Disney memory drawer, and that's, like, stuff. So the top one is all skincare, so it's, like, sheet masks, eye masks, lip masks. I have a bunch of, again, the Dr. Descaros peel pads, because I love them. Um, yeah. Cotally mask, Glam Glow mask, Ula Henriksen mask. <laughs> Lots of masks, Peter Thomas Roth mask. Um, I have like a Fix Plus in here. I have a backup of the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream that I love. Ren Mask, so a face cleanser. Just a lot of masks. This is a lot of stuff that I got in gratis. Kind of lives in here because I don't really touch it. And this is a drawer full of palettes. Most of these were things, again, that I got in gratis or got on sale. So like Kat Von D, Anastasia, Moonchild. Anastasia Blush Palette, another Kat Von D one. We have Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Too Faced Peaches, Too Faced Cat Eye, Sephora Blush Palette, Urban Decay Electric Palette, that's a throwback um, back here. Original Tartlet, this was the Swamp Queen with Graveyard Girl. Um, Clay Play, oh my gosh, what else is in here? I went through a whole Naked Palette, so my second Naked Palette, Naked 2. <laughs> Naked 3, and then Naked Smokey was in the other one. I have one of the Basquiat palettes in there that I kept in the box because it's really pretty. Shan XO BH Cosmetics, Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This is probably my favorite glow kit from Anastasia, the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, and I have the Elusive um, Artist palette with Mario. Remember when that was a thing and everyone was killing themselves to get that? Me too. So this is just my drawer of random palettes. I do have other things like around like my everyday makeup but that's upstairs hi hi do you want to go see the rest of it oh she just wants to snooze welcome to essentially our junk room where this is when i moved back in to my mom's place everything ended up so this has random bits and bobs here more random palettes makeup bags skincare things that I never use. I have two brush sets down here. Um, some more palettes, like the really big um, matte metal palette that Kat Von D did. Colourpop one. These used to be my two go-to palettes. These were my Z palettes from Sephora. This one is just a little one with like weirder colors in it. Um, this one had other colors. I had a, another big one too, but a bunch of colors smashed, so I don't know where I put that. Again, you have some more random things. This box also has like a bunch of random makeup in it that I go through every once in a while, but um, we'll just leave
leave her there. And then this has like random other fragrances and hair stuff in here, but we won't worry about that. We also aren't gonna talk about this bag. This bag is just skincare and fragrance and stuff like that. Just let her live. On to the nail polish. Also, I just have an old Sephora uniform that's been with me since I moved. That's funny. These two bins are both <laughs> nail polish, some more organized than others. So this with the things I showed you in my other room are my whole collection. I have a ton of different brands. Um, when I worked in American Apparel, they had nail polish, so I have American Apparel, Sephora Collection, OPI, Sally Hansen. <laughs> Does anyone else remember OCC? Um, China Glaze, Essie, Sally Hansen, this indie brand. I have a lot, Sephora Collection <laughs> again, but a whole bunch of colors in there. I just kind of dig through this when I want like fun things. I've taken all my like normal colors back to my other place. And then this is my second one that is all Essie and is way more organized. But you can see I had pretty much every color you could imagine here. I had all of like the fun top coats, base coats, a matte topper, again, more glitters, but literally every color you could imagine. Um, they all need to be shaken up, but they all work fine once I do shake it up, so that's why I still have them, but like blues, orange, red, gold, you know, neutrals, greens. Why would I ever need green nail polish? We have greens, we have neon, we have purple, we have more purple, we have blue, purple, gray. Like, why do I need all of nail polish? I don't know, but that is the nail polish collection that y'all wanted to see there. Okay, that is it, that is all. There you have it, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you could live vicariously through my past self who was a crazy person. At one point I will probably do a declutter, so if you wanna see that, let me know, because a lot of this is stuff that's just like not even opened or unused or hasn't been touched in years and can be fully sanitized, and then I could give to like shelters and things like that, so. One day we will get to that. As always, all my links to everything else are down below. If you want to check the rest of this out, please subscribe. I post about, honestly, whatever I want. We're not picky. I just do what I want on this channel now. But I post all the time, so feel free to subscribe. Join the family. And I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye.